excited to show y'all a cool new project. We were in Colorado camping and my partner Jake said, y'all was looking for a project, why not build a gypsy wagon? And I thought that would be dope to build on the weekends. So as soon as we returned to Austin, I found a trailer and started building the Opal Gypsy. On the back of the gypsy wagon, we have a folding porch. It hangs by chains and then folds right up against the back for travel. We found these gorgeous old French doors online. These were actually the side lights to them. And we cut them down and had a gentleman here in town make stained glass windows for them. Through the rear doors, is our bathroom. We set up a bucket style toilet here. Once you use it, you put a scoop of sawdust in it. It completely eliminates any odor. And once it's full, it goes in a 50 gallon drum. And within a year, it's ready to be used to fertilize your garden or your trees. Above it is a wine box that we use for some storage. We hung the light in sideways just to fit it into this space. Found a neat old mirror to put in. And then below that, we floated a live edge slab of cedar and used an old enamelware bowl for our sink. Across from that, we set a beautiful galvanized trough inside another piece of live edge cedar and surrounded that with cedar that we finished with water locks to protect it from any kind of water damage. Through the pocket door, we have our living space. Down below, we built out a little electric fireplace, reminiscent of the wood stoves and gypsy wagons, but we didn't need that down here in Texas. And then above that, we built out our closet. I designed the doors and built them to look like a beautiful old church altar that I really liked. And beside that, we built out a couch that folds into a full bed. And then it can also be lifted up for storage underneath to hold the bedding, and whatever else you might need there. Beneath the Opal Gypsy sign is our kitchen. We use a live edge slab of pecan for our countertop. And to save space, we tucked an induction burner in the top drawer. So there's no transfer of heat, easy to cook, and then you can close it immediately afterward. We tried to put as much storage as possible in as tiny a space as it is. Use a small fridge and kind of went vintage with our appliances just because a gypsy wagon is a work of art. You can get creative as you want with the space. How's it going, y'all? Come on in. This here is Bitsy. First thing I want to show you all are these beautiful stained glass windows. Uh, they were created by a friend of ours named Z here in Austin, Texas. And it took him over two months, and as you can see, the craftsmanship is exquisite. And we're very happy with that. If you want to 
This is the bed nook at the end of the gypsy wagon, and the frame which extends around it all the way is reminiscent of the old Romani gypsy wagons uh, with vines and flowers. We thought that would be a really cool addition. Directly beneath uh, is the storage space. in all the way just look at this beautiful uh, shadow here cast by the stained glass window we have on the side it's a great place to kick off your shoes maybe open up a bottle of wine sit here with you know whatever friends you have and if you're just alone you can kick back pile up the pillows and watch Game of Thrones on HBO